team Hong Kong Xi'an University, and uh, we are presenting the case Huawei in Canada. So allow me to introduce my team members from the front row is Agi and Fiona, and this is Tommy, and me, myself, is Peter. So before I introduce our strategy, we would first like to have some background information for you. So, um, Huawei, Huawei is a Chinese enterprise and it is expanding its business under the going about policies which, it, which will get support from the government and it becomes the major player in the telecom equipment um, industry in 2009 in Canada and together with Ericsson and Nokia and Simon. So um, the business of uh, Huawei is doing in Canada includes three things. It sells network equipment, provides service and building and maintenance of network, equi uh, network equipment for the uh, uh, carriers and it also provides enterprise solutions. So in the future it will also um, pro uh, provide 5G networking uh, service and cloud computing service. But <coughs> they, they are uh, facing a major, uh, facing some problems. So um, the problem is regarding the corporate image. So because this is a Chinese enterprise, they are perceived as low intellectual protection awareness, and also uh, because of the United States report in 2009, and it shows that uh, there may be possibility of, of Huawei uh, engaging in uh, spy activities. So uh, this company is. Um, uh, the, the trust is in danger, mm -hmm. and so in the future, the 5G and cloud computing will be in jeopardy. So now we would like to talk about our strategy to tackle the problems. Mm -hmm. We we term it as a nesting model for uh, our strategy. So it is a uh, it, uh, it is a hierarchy nesting one strategy within another, so that they can comp complement and support one another. So these strategies are corporate strategy business strategy and functional strategy. So this uh, corporate strategy will focus on uh, the overall directions of in terms of growth and management of various business. So uh, for this uh, company, we define that uh, the corporate strategy will be growth because they want to expand their market share. And for the business strategy, they are competitive strategy and corporate strategy. They aim at uh, improve the competitive positions of the company. So. Um, what Huawei is successful because it, it provides low low price product but high efficiency. So we suggest this is a cost leadership, and we also suggest um, Huawei should engage in strategic alliance with local companies to gain the trust. And for the functional strategies, they aim at maximizing pro, uh, product uh, uh, productivity. And so we want to, but in this area, we want to build. Uh, aim at building up a positive image of the company. So now I will pass to my colleagues to uh, uh, further develop the case. Thanks, Tina. As we mentioned that corporate image is our major concern. That means trust is a big problem. However, is it the main obstacle for us to consider whether we can have an expansion of business in the uh, market in Canada? Now I want to use the SWOT analysis to have a further analysis in this area. For the strength, we think that as a large company, Chinese company uh, that have a good financial background, maybe we can benefit from the low cost because in China, in China, we have a lot of facilities already. So uh, that those facilities can support the uh, production in Ch uh, business in Canada too. So also there are a lot of local R and D centers. So there is a guarantee of a continuous innovation of our product. Also, the third one is about the government strategic fund. The Canada government is really supportive for our business. So we are really, uh, what we have a happy smile for that. However, we want to consider our weakness too. In Canada market, our biggest competitor is Nokia and Ericsson. But they are a large company and uh, have a longer uh, business experience in Canada market. So we think that maybe in comparison, our financial background will be our bigger concern because uh, when our product comes to the maturity stage, uh, it may be 
get into the prize pool. Then our local company like Huawei may be a lack of financial background to deal with that prize pool. So, uh, and also as a Chinese firm, we have a lack of knowledge and resources and also network in the Canada, uh, this country. For the opportunities, we think that uh, maybe the uh, two products, mobile broadband and mobile uh, subscription, is a good uh, product for us to have a further development in this uh, in Canada because the penetration rate is very low. That means that we have a space for development. And also, as a Chinese company, maybe the foreign company is really curious of. Uh, for our Chinese company to provide a Chinese style products. So they make a lot of products. However, when we come to the threat, that is our major concern. Because uh, as we mentioned before, there are two big perceptions we are facing. Uh, in the US, uh, we have a relatively bad relationship with the government because the government is not trusting us. They think that uh, our products is facing a problem of uh, something related to the spy activities that is doubt of a protection of personal information. So how can a customer of business, I mean B2C and B2B, trust us to build up a business relationship is a doubt. And also uh, there is a problem of Chinese stereotype because in the past uh, a Chinese company uh, focused on uh, having low price product. So they are not really concerned about the problem of uh, innovation. So uh, they are having a copycat strategy rather than an R&D strategy. Next, please. Then you think that in the short term, maybe cost leadership is work. Uh, that is what Huawei is using. However, is this sustainable in, uh, in the long term to support our development in Canada? We think that it's not. We come to the pro a problem of trust building. Uh, after the SWOT analysis, we think that there is also uh, opportunities to uh, expand our business in Canada. However, we think that if we cannot come through the obstacles of uh, the two perceptions I've mentioned, we cannot come to a good uh, long-term smooth expansion of business in Canada. So now I'm going to pass the time to my colleague Tommy to talk about how can we fix this. Thank you, Fiona. Uh, after Fiona have have the analysis in the SWOT, we know that the threat of the to, to Huawei is that a bad perception about the Huawei. The copycat perception and the financial support from China, which induce the cyber security problem, which they are spying activities to to the enterprise and government and the privacy forum, that result in is the negative press for the Huawei in Canada. And to deal with this forum, it is important to retain the investment and revenue growth and market position to Huawei in Canada. We suggest the short-term strategy to tackle the copycat problem and the long-term strategy to tackle the cyber security concerns. That we aim to building the positive corporate image to gain trust and lower the press, the negative press in Canada. I will talk about the short term strategy. We suggest we can promote our strength. We have another. Which we have the local R and D investment. The Huawei have invested a large, a huge amount of money in the new investment in the 5G technology and also cooperate with the local university and local carriers which is called Harris and they also provide many new job opportunities to local workers which support the local economy can build up the can source the res social responsibility of Huawei they also plan to hire the professional research directors from Ontario and what is the result by promoting this and doing this is they can source the all research and development are sourced from Canada. The Huawei is not a copycat that can tackle the, the, the bad perception from the global. Also, they can source that they create many job opportunities in Canada. We support the local econo economy. 
which have the social responsibility. This two, this two, this two strategy can build up the corporate image of Huawei. And I will pass the time to Ivy to talk about the long-term strategy. Thank you, Tommy, for presenting the short-term measures. And I am going to present the long-term measures to Huawei to solve the problems. And we found that there are uh, three main uh, long-term measures. The first, <coughs> the first uh, measure is to reduce reliance on China governments, which means that uh, after doing these uh, strategies, the in public view statement think that the Huawei uh, increase its visibilities and decrease the uh, political influence from the China of uh, authorities. As a result, they may uh, think that the positions of Huawei uh, company in the Canada is a uh, neutral positions, and, and they may uh, improve their confidence on this company. However, these uh, measures uh, need another uh, risk or problems, which means that we lost the uh, funding from the China government. So we uh, suggest that the next step for Huawei to company to do is to uh, find a strategic partners uh, in the Canada, uh, which means that we suggest Huawei company to uh, find their partners from other unrelated business uh, sectors, for example, the financial uh, companies uh, which want to uh, diversify their uh, business. As a result, we can get still get the uh, sufficient financial source and on the other hand, we can also get the public support and local recognition of the uh, local community through the cooperation with local companies. And the last long-term measure is to improve the corporate governance, governance performance by improving the board accountability and improving the transparency. But in the aspect of the board accountability, we suggest that the uh, Huawei should include some local representative uh, into the board of directors and they can still also uh, recruit some local tenants to uh, in the higher managerial uh, positions and R&D department in order to show that Huawei is a local company of Canada, not a foreign company and they serve the local communities. So they are uh, the public uh, public uh, confidence and the government's confidence on Huawei may enhance. In the transparency aspect, we recommend that Huawei to have a voluntary report to the government and the public in order to gain their confidence and to show that uh, the <coughs> Huawei actually is a uh, local uh, companies and they concern the lo local communities instead of of other uh, spying uh, activities, so that the uh, relationship uh, between Huawei and the different parties, for example, the governments, the uh, Huawei's partners, and the public, and also the Huawei's customers, can be improved, and the corporate image of Huawei can still uh, be improved too. Besides, we also recommend a contingency plan uh, to drop. Uh, Huawei to sustain its business, uh, which is a uh, repositioning strategy, which means that we, uh, Huawei should use a new brand name to sustain its business in order uh, to take advantage of uh, a new brand name. Uh, people's acceptance is uh, easier. Uh, people is easier to accept a new brand, uh, in, so that because new. The brand is more neutral than the Huawei original brand then. And next, I will pass to uh, <coughs> my colleague to conclude. So thank you. Um, so in conclusion, um, Huawei is facing a major problem, which is the corporate image. So in order to ta tackle that, we have a few um, uh, strategies. They are, we, we will implement the board level and change the board level and, and uh, management replacing them uh, using local Canadian uh, to replace the Chinese sport level management so that it can gain the trust 
also in in short term we will have our promotion promoting our uh, corporate is actually very uh, localized because we have um, employed a lot a uh, high portion of employees in local and, and major um, management are also from the local and also we will improve the transparency of operation of the operation activities and we will have uh, some uh, 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 volunteer um, report to the governments so that we hope uh, these measures can help one way to gain the trust and mitigate the trust issues and so, so we gain the trust in our company and use our products thank you this is the end of our presentation Thank you for your questions. So in order to implement start or uh, improve our corporate image, so uh, we are going to firstly in the first uh, very first stage we have a promotion. So uh, a promotion of our corporate uh, image by conveying a message uh, to the mass media that we are a company that although uh, we are using we are actually a localized the companies, although it is a um, uh, Chinese enterprise, but the management, the, the workers, and also the op operational activities are, are very transparent. And, and so um, there is no concern of the companies that are um, participating, participating in crime ac activities and Actually, this uh, actually, and we want to emphasize a, a message that this company is um, um, very committed to the can, can Canada um, society. So uh, maybe we can also have some uh, corporate corporate responsibility activities so that it can um, go to the uh, to be more social, um, go to the social side of the. The society, so that uh, more people can know about the, uh, Huawei is actually uh, quite localized. The company in Canada. And actually, I think uh, what happened in the U.S. not re totally reflect what will happen in Canada. So, what the go government in U.S. is concerning about their personal privacy. However, maybe we can uh, do more testing or reports. Uh, and also have having apply of some uh, global standards in Canada to support that actually what our products and our service is has a high level of uh, security. Not what just uh, people won't just judge on us based on what you say, but uh, in a more diverse uh, aspect. All the strategy we 
suggest is one match with the entry strategy of Huawei is the localization strategy. They want to be the localized company with, to become a household brand in Canada and to get into the telecommunication ecosystem of Canada. So all the strategy is <coughs> gain the trust from the Canadian. We are not the Chinese company anymore. We are the local Canadian company. So in the promotion, we can attract the local workers to trust us. Uh, we are the local company. And after we have the local workers have the large portion in Canada, then we can have the long term service at the management level, high management level will be the local Canadian. And they also can prevent the, the spy activities and to monitor the whole company in Canada. Also considering the uh, changing from the inside, I think that maybe when considering the B2C and B2B platform, we have to uh, need a contingency plan, like uh, IP have mentioned before, maybe we have to change our branding, our positioning, in order to uh, go for a longer journey in Canada. Because uh, what if, if uh, we not success in our changing in the management level? Because it's to take a long time uh, to ha go to a um, consensus uh, between the local uh, Canadian manager and the Huawei China manager. So we think that maybe it takes time. So we want to support this with our contingency plan. Just to <coughs> move the subject a little bit, um, strategic alliances, you talked about forming strategic alliances. How would you go about doing that in the backdrop of the adverse political environment towards the company? I guess just touching on that financial perspective, um, if you remove the sort of the funding from the Chinese Development Bank, how do you replace that at competitive levels and do you get much thought process behind that? Because the usually the Chinese Development Bank would be funding at very competitive levels. And if you replace that with local funding, how how would you factor in the financial implications of that into your theory? Consider the 
uh, business transfers. Because uh, when we are a Chinese company, uh, we have local business in China. We have a better relationship uh, with the China government if we are a big firm. But now when we enter the, uh, Canada, we are not having these advantages anymore. So how can we build up a good relationship with the government in order to have a dominant uh, power to gain uh, funding in these cases? Maybe we have to consider different uh, uh, different funding from a uh, different a different source of funding uh, in these cases, maybe considering the uh, debt from the banking and also uh, not just relying on the government. Um, so I want to carry that, um, add a bit. So um, in the very first place, we are choosing st strategic alliance to gain finance because uh, um, uh, because the Huawei is uh, financed by the Chinese, which is a major concern of the the. Uh, which is ma major reason that cause national security problems and therefore we think that we need to get finance from local uh, bank or, or from strategic alliances as Abby mentioned and so although this may affect the profit or it will, it will that this will increase, increase the finance cost however if we don't do this we cannot gain the trust back so in the future, we may not be able to sell our 5, 5G um, technolo network technology or even the cloud computing technology. So even though we may have some loss in profit, but this is a, is a, a good approach taken by us. Yes, by using the cost leadership now, we want to have a growth in our market share. But we want to expand our business in the long term and increase uh, our profit margin after we expand our uh, market share. So may, uh, we have to consider the innovation, R&D, and the trust building in the long term. Because when we think that, uh, how about uh, our government won't support us anymore? We have to strengthen our company own ability rather than just rely on the government. We also can observe some tech that the Huawei has done in their research. They have the alliance with the local carriers, the talents, and the local university. They start to rely on the resources from Canada and to, to uh, reduce the reliance on China. So I think this act can increase the trust from the bank, from the local bank to have the financial support to them because they are trying to use the local <coughs> resource to, to get the local market share. Yes, we believe we will lose some strength, especially in, in the financial sector, because we are losing a low interest uh, funding from the Chinese bank. Um, but but this as uh, but uh, this approach, I think, it is uh, a must for us because um, be, because we need to uh, stand clear from the manip manipulation of government policy. So that um, we want to send a message that Huawei is not controlled by the government, or or we will not. Uh, so that they will not uh, consider we are working for Chinese government, and we we are uh, of low possibility um, taking part in um, crime crime activity. Yeah, maybe we can share with you like, uh, what don't you? Notice there's a trend like uh, for the last two or three years. A lot of the project in, in the offshore market looking for Chinese uh, investment. Because the model, so that the money from out of China to the world has increased significantly for the last uh, three or four years. For the reason of uh, this is a capital, the, the 
generated I'm sure that data is really important. So um, yeah, so I think I think that maybe that's your your thinking to, to tackle this uh, like uh, issues, but uh, I, I certainly that's something Just a question on the board change of structure, um, <coughs> which is an interesting one. Why not the CEO? Maybe it's hard because Huawei is a Chinese company. Uh, most of its strategy is based on a Chinese mind, rather than a, a foreign water, a foreign managerial style. However, we. We think that maybe we are facing a contradiction between uh, the foreign market and our local CEO. However, we think that maybe uh, nowadays most of the Chinese uh, CEOs is educated in a foreign country. So uh, in the long term, they are bringing in some uh, foreign educational and uh, manager style. However, maybe we have to if we change the CEO, maybe our characteristic of company will turn around and totally change. We don't want to do that because Huawei is Huawei. If we change our name, Huawei is a Chinese name actually. But why why we not using another name? Because uh, at some level we want them to notice that we are a Chinese company, but we can do a great business in a foreign country too. So, uh, but the contradiction is a. Is a a fact we have to face it. So we want to change it uh, from the uh, lower level manager uh, and supporting the uh, corporate level. Uh, so uh, we want to do um, a hiring of talent of the foreign uh, company too, because we want to support the corporate level with the functional level, and we want to have a good coordination within different parties, so we can have a. Uh, cultural sharing uh, atmosphere within the company, just not uh, have a rich Chinese mind and uh, refuse to accepting the uh, foreign changing trend or te uh, technology. So rebranding the product uh, actually takes you into more risk perhaps, because you have to actually get away from the good world and establish what you're, you're actually looking for is to rebuild the market trust in the product. You need to actually connect it with the market. Otherwise, the market is not. So, we are considering the uh, marketing con uh, continuity plan, and maybe we are, uh, don't have a uh, don't have a detailed explanation in our slides to talk about how can we uh, build our brand uh, in the foreign market. But maybe we think that it's all about image. Maybe we can uh, highlight what is our characteristic because just like a lot of foreign uh, foreign countries like Facebook, they highlight innovative. But what is the core characteristic of Huawei? Um, maybe I think up to now it's low cost, but I'm doubt whether it is a good quality. So we have to consider this too. I think. Uh, I think you have mentioned several times about uh, trans increasing the transparency in a way to, uh, to be more localized or gain, gain the trust. Uh, can, and also you mentioned to increase the corporate governance, which I think is very important in the right direction. Can someone or some, some of you can elaborate a little bit more how, how you would do it to increase the corporate governance, other than just volunteering you know, more information to government?
plan for Huawei to increase their transparency that the Chartered Secretary in their firm. This, this post can be the third party or the firm to or the government, uh, the people from government to take this post. It's because they can they can regulate the company and monitor the company. Uh, uh, have they been illegal or in their essence have they being the spy activities or sell the privacy of Canadian to the China. They, this secretary can have the whole monitor to the CEO and the board and they, they can suggest and uh, in, increase the transparency of Huawei. Round two of the competition. Let's give uh, all the teams a big round of applause.